have with me for my vlog today an old friend. No, you're not old. Well, we are old. <laughs> we are old. <laughs> but a good friend from former days gone by, Craig Bennett. Craig, why don't you go ahead and tell people how we know each other? Um, let's see. We went to Warburg together. Mm -hmm. And I lived in Elgin when I was a kid, and you lived in West Union. And so we kind of always knew of one another's existence, but we didn't know each other when we were in high school. Yeah, one of those things like you can like eight miles at, apart. At, but like at contests, music contests, speech contests, stuff mm -hmm. like that, we mm -hmm. would cross paths. Yeah, but we didn't really get to know we each, each other. other until we went to Wartburg. So what did you know of me at Wartburg? That you were fabulous and fun. And so don't be... Well... <laughs> Okay, tell me more. <laughs> no, no, really. Like, what? What did we think? Well, we were like? musical. Yeah. And we were in, um, we were in, we choir, in choir together, together at the Warburg College Jinx. Choir. Yeah. <laughs> and um, let's see. And you lived in Centennial. I did. I lived both in Centennial and Volmer. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. And um, you lived with Chris Waring, didn't you? No, that never actually happened. Never did that happen? No, no, no. Um, I lived... Who'd you live with? Well... Tell um, us more. Tell us more. My first roommate was Peggy Dagnan. Um, and she ended up... That was the year before I got there. Yep, and she ended up transferring and not, you know, after the first semester, actually. And then I had... Um, um, oh, oh, I can see... Sherry Clark. Okay. Um, and she ended up transferring after her sophomore year. Joy, what did you... <laughs> What what these people? I don't know. There's then, a pattern. There's a pattern. And then I had Cindy Veers. Oh, year. that was the one. Cindy Veers. And then I became a... Because she dated my roommate, Jay. He was your roommate? Yeah. Oh, fun. I forgot yeah. that. But yeah. Yeah. Okay, okay, We okay. lived in the manors. Yeah, they, and yeah the manors. they were dating. Jay and Cindy and I lived in the manors. Well, man, they didn't want to be around me, evidently. But... Um, but the last two years, I was a resident assistant, which worked out right. fine because I had this guy. Because you had Mark. There's this guy that kept coming, <laughs> maybe broke a few little inner visitation rules and things like that. Accidentally. <laughs> Accidentally. Just couldn't keep track of the time. Couldn't yeah. keep track of the time. But yeah. And then we really just didn't stay in touch until this wonderful thing called Facebook. Facebook's a beautiful thing. However, I did know that when I would come to home to my hometown, your name would be emblazoned on like signs and homes around town. Exactly. Because I was for a while, the real estate master. Yeah, yes, a mogul, a real estate and now mogul. Now I've retired. Yes, yes. To to off to new ventures. Off to new adventures. And yes. are we middle aged, Craig? No, God, no. We're not that old. Eh, come on, let's we're getting about close. <laughs> come on, let's do the math, people. Okay, I will be forty four this year. Yeah, and you double that. And so that's 88. Yeah. And so, yeah, we're pretty much middle-aged. Pretty much. Because I remember thinking 44 doubling 88, that's okay. 45, I'm 45. When you double 45... That's 90. I know! Good Lord. It's awful. 44 to 45 is this big... Gap. It's a big gap. It's yeah. a different thing. Yeah. That's kind of... Yeah. I had a 45... I about that. Yeah, I had a 45 yeah. moment. I think 50 is going to be like nothing, because by then you're like, whatever. See, you know, like when I turned 40, I was totally cool. I was to, Me too. I loved it. 25 was horrible. Really? Yeah. For whatever reason, 25 totally sent me over the edge. I but had a mental age 30, of 26. 30, 40, no issues. I was 26 forever. A mental age of 26 for absolutely ever. I'm always saying that I'm a year older than I actually am. So I'm yeah. totally, yeah, I'm totally fine. Okay, okay, here. Now, Maybe before it's a guy we, thing. People will get bored if we talk too much longer on the vlog thing, but I do want to ask you this. I think this would yeah. be fascinating. We love it. So, like, as we're. Like, we haven't physically seen each other in a really long time, but we didn't Since want Since homecoming, like, four years ago or yeah, something like yeah. that. But we didn't want to be those people who are like, we should get together and then never do it. So tonight, we did it. Yeah. So do that out there, people. That's a good thing. Yeah. But okay, so sitting Even here, if you have to sit at your parents' house <laughs> at my like, parents while house. they're on vacation. Thanks, Mom and Dad. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, so describe what it's like to, like, like, is it... The same? Am I the same, or but different in a good way or bad way? Well, I think we, I think we've both evolved, you know, in a really great manner. I think we're both. We have both have less stresses, you know. <laughs> but I mean, you know, <laughs> like you go through, like when we're in college, you have all of that stuff where like all these expectations are placed on you, and you're trying to find your path in the world. Yeah. And you don't yeah. know where you're going. That's you true. don't know what your direction is. Who am is. I going to be when I grow up? Who am I going to be when I grow up? Who am I going to be with? What's my character going to, you know, your character's in that whole development stage, all that stuff. Do we know now? And we're in a better place now. 
That's I can't true. say that we know we all don't the things, know. but the, I know that we are in a better place than we were then. Yes. I yes. know I am. My whole blog is about, who. my driving question for my blog is, who am I now? That's my question. I'm like, who am I now? And that's who you are on that day. That's right. You don't have to be, who are I now? Who am I now for like six months? It's in that moment. And you know I never want to be fake. I've never wanted to be fake. Correct. Does that, does that feel like, like... Do you pick up on that? Or do you like, I think no, you're Joy's pretty being darn fake? real. In a scary or okay way? In an okay way. Good. Good, because um, I, oh, yeah. I'd hate it if I were fake. Because when we were kids, when we were in college, kids. I'm not sure that we were 100%, 100% real. Really? Either one of us. Oh, that peeved me. I almost said it. Yeah. That's okay. <laughs> But no. I, th- I don't I'd know have that. To beat myself. I don't know that either one of us were. But maybe we were in that moment, because I'm looking in retrospect. Yeah. Yeah. So you know, maybe we were in that moment. But um, I know I wasn't who I you am. You say you know, we maybe weren't as authentic as we thought we were then. Mm-hmm. I think I was trying to be authentic, but I don't think we always, when we're younger, give ourselves permission to to really be as authentic as we feel we should be. Well, and it could be that we were authentic within our within the skill set that we had at that time too. Oh, that's true. You know, because we develop skills as we go along, and so, because um, I'm very, very different today than I was then. How are you different today, Mr. Bennett? Ooh, oh my. Um, let's see. Um, then I was a little wound, a little tighter than I am today. <laughs> yes. Um. Uh, I was very naive. Yeah, um, okay. Well, we um, I've had lots of really wonderful experiences with lots of really wonderful people, and it's just I'm a whole different being. That's good. Yeah, it's it's been yeah That's I'm good. a much better being. That's good. I'm very much less judgmental. I'm much less um, inclined toward drama, <laughs> and not on the stage. Yeah, <laughs> I'm talking. Drama, life drama. Craig, I'm still inclined to a drama. <laughs> Let's try to keep drama on the stage, dear. Try to keep drama on okay. the stage. Okay. And um, yeah, life's far better today than it was then for me. Personally. Yeah, yeah. I agree. I agree. And I think that's something that my son did for me. My my first son. My second son has given me great gifts too. It grew truly. Mm-hmm. But what? Which... He's kind of a special little guy. He really is. He really is. He's like a mini me in boy size, you know. Yeah, like Mark said, he's a uh, little joy with the other chromosome. <laughs> I know it. It's so <laughs> weird. It's so weird. But I really, like having Strauss and having to like feel this need to fiercely protect him because he was born different has really opened me up to like other people who are different. And mm-hmm. I, I did. You're, you're correct. And like when you're younger, it's hard to be open to people who are different. I think that's one of mm-hmm. the hardest things we have to well, do. Well, I think it's hard to be open to accepting yourself if you are different as well. Yeah. Are we Oftentimes. different? I, I was different. Yeah. You know, well, I, I was I reared, I was reared in this whole setup where you are to be this, you know, heterosexual white male to do this, to do that, to da, 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 and that's not me at all. I'm mm-hmm. kind of this. Opposite. You know, yeah. I'm like, well. well you are male. Yeah. I'm male. Is white. I, I continue to be white. <laughs> um, I'm, anyway. Uh, <laughs> And, um, however, I have dated completely across the entire ethnic spectrum Mm -hmm. and, um, and I'm gay as the day is long Mm -hmm. and I'm happy to admit it. And you just told me that your mother thought she knew that on the day you were born. She told me when I came out that she'd known my entire life, Mm -hmm. um, but never wanted me to acknowledge it. I'd love to ask your mother how she thought she knew on the day you were born. Well, that's your conversation though. You, you, Yeah. Yeah. Or if I get a show someday and I have your mother. Yeah, on then we could come as a we as a group. We could come as a couple. Yeah, <laughs> we could, we could come, come as a group. group. That'd be fun. <laughs> oh, fun. Well, we probably have, we look what we've covered in the span of whoever knows how many minutes. I know it's exciting. Isn't that fun? What a wonderful evening this has been. I know, and we're it's not good. done yet. We're just oh, I know. we just we're took just... time to do the vlog with things that we hadn't talked about. I always say yeah, stuff. Yeah, this is all yeah, this fresh. is all new stuff. It's got to be fresh for exactly. you, whoever's exactly. watching out there. Exactly. So anyway. Well, our okay. viewers. Our viewers. Would you like to tell them goodbye for me? I always try and say goodbye. Oh, sorry. See you soon. Thanks for letting us come into your lives and maybe make a difference. 
Good night. Good night.